Hi guys and welcome to TechBase. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel that Microsoft released today, and that is the build 25206. We have this new build today, and in this video, we're going to talk about what is new, what is changed, what is fixed, and so on. If you enjoy videos like these where we talk about new Windows 11 Insider Preview builds, don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, in this build, we have some changes regarding the SMB authentication rate limiter. So basically, Microsoft is changing the behavior to that. And if you want to find out more information about this, you can find it in the article below in the description. I'm not going to go in depth about it. Another good news in this build is that the open with menu is now available to all Windows insiders in the dev channel. So now you no longer need to enable this using Vive tool or anything else. You have this enabled by default. And it's a new menu that goes hand in hand with the Windows of an experience and it looks really nice. Another new change is that Windows Insiders can now save power by using dynamic refresh rate DRR on external displays. To enable the setting, you must have a 120 plus hertz monitor with VRR variable refresh rate support as well as the drivers required installed. To select a dynamic refresh rate, you need to go into settings, system, display, advanced display and make your selection under refresh rate. Of course, and you're going to have to select it here. In this case, on this laptop I only have a 60 hertz display but if you had a 120 plus hertz monitor you could choose from this list to have a dynamic refresh rate. I think this is good and I think a lot of people will use it. We also have some updates regarding the search from the file explorer so now the search from file explorer home will show recent file activity for cloud files and details view. Regarding the clipboard history Microsoft is beginning to roll out a change to suppose the use of clipboard history on password fields so they are beginning to roll this out so the experience is not available to all insiders just yet but uh, I think this is something really interesting maybe you would be able to copy passwords and maybe see them blurred or something like that in the clipboard history that is pretty pretty nice this is all there is to it regarding changes and improvements in this build this is a smaller build because of course in this week we had the big launch of Windows 11 22 h2 or 2022 update I've already posted a bunch of videos about that so you can check them out but regarding this dev channel build we can talk about some fixes of course we have some general fixes so for example OneDrive setup should no longer unexpectedly ask for permission to set up every time your PC reboots and they also fixed a high hitting explorer.exe which was impacting some insiders regarding the settings app Microsoft fixed a settings crash which could happen when searching and selecting certain narrator related settings regarding search Microsoft fixed a high hitting search crash which was impacting some insiders in the last few flights and we have also some other fixes so for example the Windows sandbox window should now resize correctly if you snap it to the side of the screen. They fixed an issue which could lead to a memory leak in Windows error reporting on after certain crashes. If focus is on the desktop when pressing Alt F4 and Enter should now shut down your PC rather than having to move keyboard focus first as was needed in the last few flights. And also the computer icon is now showing again in the shutdown Windows dialog. So these are some great things, some great new additions. Of course this is a smaller build but hopefully Microsoft will get back to implementing new features, new exciting features in the next few builds from the dev channel. This was the video for today. I hope you liked it. We'll also have an update for the beta channel. I'm not going to do a separate video about that, but you're going to have an article on the itstechbase.com website about that. Don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel if you didn't do that already. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.